The Portrait of Jason is a film by Shirley Clark. She interviews Jason Holliday, and over the course of 24 hours, Shirley Clark asks Jason Holliday a series of questions about his life experiences. This film really offers us a lot of information about what it was like to be black and gay and a sex worker in the late 1960s. As we're watching Jason, listening to Jason tell us about his life, he tells us some very disturbing stories about racism and particularly the racism he experiences working with older white women as a domestic worker. And then he would say, oh, that didn't happen. That wasn't true. That was a lie. And then, you know, as we're listening, we realize that we can't tell when Jason is telling the truth and when he's telling us a story. What Jason actually does with the white person, the white audience member trying to desire and understand racism is an effect to communicate that you cannot understand that the effects of racism are something beyond any truthful account that can be provided. There are always effects of racism beyond what can be communicated or understood through words. So within Lacanian psychoanalysis, there are three different psychic structures. One is the neurotic, one is the pervert, one is the psychotic. Now the pervert, and I just want to be really clear about the fact that I'm not calling Jason Holiday a pervert, you know, what I am saying is that his discourse and his performance in the film can be read as adopting a perverse strategy to anti-black racism that I read in Lacanian terms. And so Jason Holliday's response to those who would racialize him and say racist things about him and his person is not to try and correct the racism, but to laugh, you know, to sort of underscore the desire and the jouissance that might be functioning to support a racist mode of engagement. And so what he's trying to do, at least in my reading, is figure out a way of being in relation to the gaze of the other, particularly in relation to the way white people look at him and racialize him. He's trying to work creatively within the context, within a very racializing environment to be or to live or to feel or to desire differently. And he refuses to be recognized or known uh, in accordance with white fantasies about who he is.